Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Allie's Amazing Scents. If you're new here, my name is Allison, your independent Scentsy consultant, and today I have a ginormous pile of empties to go through with you. So um, if you are in the mood for a long empties video, you're at the right place. Grab some cozies and settle down in, and we're going to dive right in. Okay, um, it's been a long time. We've had a lot of illness going around. Uh, Maddie and I both had ear infections, which I'm still fighting. Um, so it's this is way overdue. Um, let's go ahead and start with the bigger items. I got through a lot of laundry. Um, well, first I got through one hand soap, and this was Vanilla Waves in the hand soap. Um, this was nice. This is sea salt, whipped vanilla, and sticky caramel. Um, it's not my favorite in body. I like it better in wax, but my kids enjoyed this. I do like the big, this is my first time using the new, uh, bigger size bottles. And I did like this delivery method. Um, I don't know that I would purchase this again unless it was on sale or it came in a whiff box or something. Um, I got through a lot of laundry <laughs> I got off track with having like, you know, whiffs line up with um, my laundry liquid and my scent off because I kept buying stuff in clearance and I ended up, I, I have a lot more laundry liquid than anything else. So my husband was like, and part of the problem is I would have all these different scents out because I like to switch it up. And my husband was like, okay, let's just leave out like one or two so you can like get through them. And then you can take them out and use them. And I was like, okay, fine. And so that really has helped me to get through um, a lot of laundry in the last month or so. And some laundry liquid. So I got through a laundry liquid of Honeymoon Hideaway. And I really like this scent in laundry. Well, I really like the scent, period. But it is a light performer in wax. Um, but in the washer whiffs, it's great. And this came out in clearance. Um, and the whiffs are long gone, but... Mm. I feel like it's a better performer in the whiffs. Um, the laundry liquid is what cleans your clothes. So you're not going to get a lot of uh, scent from this. And so I don't mind using different scent, uh, you know, um, laundry liquid versus whiffs. But this is, it was nice. I would purchase this scent again in laundry and in laundry liquid. Uh, got through another laundry liquid and cucumber and cactus water. This was available in our most recent summer collection this last summer. Um, this is a really nice scent. I like it in laundry. I have one small whiffs left that I actually got in clearance. I would purchase this again in laundry if it came out. It's not super strong, but it's nice. And we also have this in wax and it's just a nice fresh summery scent, green scent. Um, <laughs> this is crazy. I had so many partially used uh, laundry liquids just sitting around. Uh, this one is Magnolia Linen. And I think I got this. Uh, it's been a while. This is nice. Um, I do like it in laundry. It's fresh. It's not the strongest laundry scent. It's pretty strong in wax. In laundry, um, it's not, but it's nice. It's a floral cotton fresh scent. So like that. And look at the little birds. So cute. Um, another laundry liquid, Fiji flower. So this was in originally in the summer collection, not this last one with the a cactus one, but two summers ago. And everyone fell in love with this in laundry. And I've heard lots of people say they wish that since he would bring it back in laundry, I agree. Um, the whiffs are amazing. I might have one more small whiffs. And I had this bar in my club for probably a good year, but I did finally take it out because I had a little stash built up. Really love this. It's just a really pretty floral. I think it does have, um, a little bit of apple in it, but it's not powdery at all. Uh, Magnolia Linen is more of a powdery floral where this is like a fresh floral. So... That was really nice. Um, got through a scent soft. So this is our fabric softener. 
I don't get through this as quickly because as you can see, it is a bigger bottle. Um, so like a full size load, you would use four squirts of this and seven squirts of this. Five for small, six for medium, seven for large. Uh, but it does take me a little bit longer to get through the scents off. So usually I'll get one whenever I close out a party with my host credits because I think it's like 17 bucks normally. Um, and it lasts me a few months, but this, it just does a great job of making your clothes soft. Um, and then this is in fluffy fleece. Uh, this, look at the little bears and sweaters. This is new, um, to laundry this year and it's been a big hit. Everyone seems to love fluffy fleece in laundry, myself included. It's strong, it's clean, it's cozy, it's all the things. Um... Maddie was sad to see this get empty. This is Black Raspberry Vanilla Washer Whiffs. This is Maddie's favorite laundry, and I fell in love with it, too. I slept on it for a long time before I finally tried it. Mm, it's so good. Um, Black Raspberry Vanilla is not the strongest scent in, um, like, in wax. But it's, it's a really good performer in Whiffs, where you can smell it afterwards on your clothes, and the thing I like about it is it's such a unique scent for laundry. You know, it's not just like a clean breeze or whatever. It's really great. So I'm going to have to get some more of those for Maddie. Um, but yeah, this is, I, I've been highly, highly impressed with the Washer Whiffs and Black Raspberry Vanilla, their performance. Um, and this is available year round. I also got uh, through uh, Washer Whiffs a big tub of windowsill breeze. This is no longer available. Um, it was in the catalog for a couple seasons. And um, we had it in wax as part of the international collection. It's a nice, just a nice, fresh um, laundry scent. So, well, it's really nice. I can see why Scentsy got rid of it because we do have clean breeze and um, clothesline. So they wanted to make room for more like unique scents. But yeah, this is really nice. I got this in clearance, I believe. And if it did come back in clearance, I would buy it. It's a good performer. I like to have a strong laundry type scent on hand for like, you know, if the kids wet the bed or something like that, or the dog throws up on something. Um, you can never go wrong with a strong laundry scent to get that out. Um, I got through a bathroom cleaner in Luna. And I really, really love this scent in bathroom cleaner. I wish it would come back. I don't even know when this was available last. Um, but I did get it in clearance probably. Sorry, my my hair's like getting in my way with my sweatshirt. It's like itching. Um, but I probably got this in clearance at least a year ago, if not longer. And um, I think I got two of them. This might be my last one. I hope not. Um, but I love this in bathroom. I like that it's not like a traditional, like, uh, you know, lemon scent or whatever for bathroom cleaner. It's just, it's Luna. It's clean. It's beautiful. It's not too strong, but it, uh, definitely makes the cleaning the bathroom more enjoyable. So I would 100% buy this again if it came out in really any kind of cleaning product, but bathroom, it's amazing. Um, I think that's it for, oh, no, I lied. <laughs> Holy cow, I did get through some laundry. Um, I am going to have to make a trip to the recycling center here soon, which I planned on anyway, so. Okay. Washer whiffs in jammy time. Um, this is great in laundry. And in all the things. Lavender, sweet pea, and baby freesia. So, so good. It's like a fresh, clean, relaxing scent. Um, really, really good in laundry. And I, this is also awesome in laundry. So I don't know which one I like better in laundry. I think in wax I do like jammy time better. But I don't know. Fluffy fleece is pretty amazing in laundry so I might like fluffy fleece a little bit better than jammy time in laundry I think it's a little bit stronger oh, that is so good 
this needs to stay around in the catalog even after winter in laundry. I'm hoping that since it's so popular, it will. But, you know, you can see that it's clearly marketed as a winter scent. But I love it. If it does go away in spring, summer, and laundry, I'll definitely be stocking up on, at least on the whiffs. And then speaking of uh, Fiji Flower, this was, like I said, from the summer collection two years ago. And this showed up in clearance. I don't know, maybe last spring. And I got like four of these little guys. <laughs> so good. This is one of my favorite scents in um, laundry. I think Ocean is my all-time favorite, but this is up there. So, hopefully that's it for laundry. Now, <laughs> we could start on the wax and, and random other things. Um, so, got through a black raspberry vanilla and car bar clips. Um, I currently have these in one of our vehicles and they're doing pretty well. Now that it's winter, um, I have found that cold air doesn't work very well on these. Like if you put it on your air conditioner in your home or in your car, I haven't gotten great results. Uh, I also tried to put it on a heater in my bathroom, didn't get good results. But if you use them, kind of what they're designed for on a vent in your vehicle with warm heat coming out is the key. Uh, they do really well. So um, black raspberry vanilla, you know, you really can't go wrong with the scent. I think a while ago, earlier this year, that since he had a deal on car bar clips, and they usually never go on, like, you know, you can't bundle and save them or anything. So I stocked up, and this was one of the scents I got. And, yeah, I'm happy with that. It's It's been good. This is what I have going right now in one of my vehicles, Silver Bells, and it's so, so good. This has done great in terms of performance. Um, it's in... Um, our secondary vehicle, I guess you'd say, that doesn't get driven as much. I just drove it this morning after having this in there for a few weeks, and I can still smell it. So great. Not like super strong, but you know, you'll get a whiff of it every once in a while. Um, I've really just fallen in love with Silver Bells lately. I mean, I knew I liked it. I knew it was good, but lately I've been kind of on a kick with it. And for sure, we'll be putting it in my club um, at the end of the season in bar form, but this was a great scent circle. Scent circles can be hit or miss, and this is a good performer, and I definitely would purchase Silver Bells in the scent circle again. Um, so I don't know if you guys remember this, but this is the wrap and wear uh, bracelets that they came out with, and actually I have a little bit left in the egg, but I'm, I'm, I'm gonna use it up. The egg, I say egg, it came with a little plastic, it looked like an egg. And you open it up and it has what looks like um, friendship bracelet string in it. And then you can pull it to the length you want, cut it off, and it comes with a little metal clasp to tie. I think this was like about $20 when they came out. They ended up in clearance. I don't think they were super popular. Um, I The one I got was Cozy Cardigan, which is soft suede, blushing rose, and amber silk. To me, this is a lighter scent anyway, but... I didn't get a lot of um, performance from it. I didn't think that it was a great performer for, for what it was. So it was fun. I'm glad that Scentsy, like, I love that they try out these things and let us try them out and stuff. But I don't know that we'll see these ever come back. They tried a couple different types of wearable fragrance um, and, like, bracelets and stuff. And I don't know. I just, I don't think that they were a big hit. So... Um, like I said, I have a little bit left that I think will be enough for maybe for my five-year-old's wrist, but um, I wouldn't buy it again. I, I've seen it in clearance, and I don't know. Maybe if I was still going into the office that was scent-free, um, I would because it's just a hint where you could, you know, sit here and sniff it. But um, I don't need to do that anymore, so I don't – it's not a product that I would repurchase. Okay, this is a non sensey product. I threw in a couple random non sensey products, which I usually don't ever talk about, but um, this is from a bar, a soap bar that I got at Lush. I went to the Lush store in Meridian when I went on my Scentsy tour, and this scent is called Outback Mate. 
And this is my favorite scent that they have there. The only other product they had it in was like a bath bomb. So I got one of those for my kids and I actually got two bars of these because I've had it before and I love it. Um, this is eucalyptus infusion and then a bunch of other ingredients, but I see eucalyptus on here a few times, lemongrass oil, peppermint oil. So it's fresh. It's a fresh scent. Oh, there's a little bit in here. It's like a blue color. It's really pretty. Now, my experience, I can't smell it, um, but I really like this and I would buy it again. My experience with um, the soap bars from Lush has been that they don't last super long. They really suds up and it dissolves the soap quicker than like a normal bar of soap. But I actually don't mind that because I have so many shower products that I have and need to get through that it's it's kind of nice to not have it last and stick around forever. But yeah, Outback Mate. It's a pretty blue bar. If you guys ever get a chance to try it, um, like I said, it's my favorite scent out of the Lush products that I've tried. And they do have some good ones. Oh, another, another laundry in here. The dryer discs in... Um, Magnolia Linen. I don't really use dryer discs too much these days. I don't really find that they add a lot of scent, but I do still have some, so I'll, I'll cycle them through. But um, the reason I have these is because if you buy a Laundry Love bundle, you get one full-size laundry liquid, you get one full-size tub of whiffs, and you get two packs of these uh, basically like thin wax bars, dryer discs that you put in your laundry, in your dryer, and it's supposed to add a little bit extra scent, which it kind of does, but really the whiffs are where it's at for scent. Um, because I've gotten so off track with my, if you buy that whole laundry love set, it usually runs out about the same time, but I've gotten way off track with buying stuff and clearance and everything. So I haven't bought a laundry love pack bundle in a, in a quite a while. Um, if I buy one again, I, of course, will get the washer whiffs. Um, it is the best deal for laundry. You save like $10 that way. But I don't think I would buy these on their own. Unless they were like extremely cheap in clearance. Just because, like I said, you don't really get that much added scent compared to the whiffs. But I do I do like them. And I'm, I'm happy that they include them in, in the bundle. But I wouldn't buy them on their own. I think, okay, um, we have this um, scent circle, 3D scent circle in candy cane buttercream. This was very light, and I've heard a lot of people say that. This is my first time with a 3D one, and it's super cute. Like, I kind of want to hang this on my Christmas tree. You see, I have my Christmas tree up behind me, and um, my little diffuser with the tree on it. But um, I might hang it on my treats. It is really cute. But I didn't get any performance from this. Hardly any. And my friend said the same thing. And I've seen YouTubers say the same thing. So it came in the um, Vanilla Bean Buttercream 4-pack. Which I might have those in here. I don't know. Um, so it was free. It was fun to use. It's fun that they put it in there as like a gift bundle. But in terms of performance... Um, not, not much going on there at all. Pods. This was, I think, in my husband's, I think it was in the, I'll call it our secondary vehicle, for quite a while. And I finally took it out, but he loves Johnny Appleseed. It's one of his favorite Scentsy scents. This is, I get a tiny whiff of it, but this is super old. Um, so this has little beads in there and then you put it in the diffuser fan and it blows up air and produces scent. Um, and then clean breeze. I got through a, a two pack of these in my wall fan diffuser in my laundry room. Hmm. I might throw these in my, um, oh, there's like some dust on that. So never mind. I was going to say I'll throw this in my, want, um, in one of my dresser drawers, but these look kind of dirty. I don't know. These were in my laundry room, and um, I love Clean Breeze. It's a great performer in all the things, so you can't go wrong with that. I uh, think we can start talking about wax now. 
Not quite yet. Another laundry. Um, this is Windowsill Breeze. Same scent as this, but in drier discs. I must have got this in a, a laundry love bundle. And yeah, I already said what I think about these, but that is a nice scent. I was sad to see this go, but luckily I just got um, the oil bundle, the oil diffuser bundle that has a full-size eucalyptus. It has a full-size lavender. I just ran out of my full-size eucalyptus lavender mint. I think I could pretty closely recreate this. I didn't get a whole lot of mint in here. But it definitely tones down the eucalyptus where it's not so medicinal. So now that I have the other ones, I'm okay, but if I didn't, I would buy this again because I really like this. Like I said, um, just the way it's blended is it's a nice, smooth, herbal scent, and it's great for when you're not feeling well. All right, let's talk wax. I used some of my brick of Disney Iridescent. Um, this is my... I don't know, second or third time using it. And I used it in my open concept and it did great. This is a nice, um, I would call it a floral scent. Mm. But it's a soft floral, somewhat. Um, this is official scent of the Disney resorts. And so this is the scent that you'll smell like at their resorts, which to me, I was a little bit surprised because it is a little floral heavy, but when I went on my tour at, um, it was like going to Disneyland, but it was um, home office. They had a display out of this, and I learned some interesting facts about this. One, I learned that Disney actually came up with this um, this scent, not Scentsy, and then Scentsy made it for them. So I just kind of assumed Scentsy designed the scent, but it sounds like Disney did. And then um, in honor of, you know, their 50th anniversary since he came out with it. Um, you can get it in a bar size in your club if you don't want this huge one. The other thing that I learned um, in that part of the tour is that Scentsy is the only company that you will ever find that ha has its brand on Disney products along with Disney. And I guess I've never looked before, but like they were saying, if you go buy like, uh, well, of course, if you get a buddy, a Scentsy buddy, like a Mickey Mouse buddy, it's going to have the Scentsy logo on it, the Scentsy patch, because all of our stuff does, all our buddies do. But it sounds like that's the exception for Disney merchandise. So like if you were to go buy like a Mickey Mouse stuffed animal anywhere else, it's not going to have any other branding on it. Scentsy is an exception. So I thought that was really cool. And it says a lot about Scentsy that Disney would would do that when they don't do it with any other uh, branding. So that was interesting. I learned so much fun little facts on that tour. I just, I had the time of my life. This, uh, I think I have one more brick and I'll be okay. Um, I did not put it in my club. Well, I put it in there, but then I took it out before it shipped. Um, it's a nice scent, but it's not something that I can't live without. So I'll go ahead and um, put that back with my brick collection. I made some pretty good progress on my bricks this month. Um, swirling snowflakes. So this was in the holiday collection. Um, you have to get it in a three pack unless you put it in your club. So I put it in my club so I could try it. And I did not have high hopes because I had tried it in pods and in um, travel twist and I, it was extremely light in both products, but mm, in the wax, it was a pretty good performer. It did really well in my bedroom. Um, I would call it a solid medium for sure. Maybe even on the high side of medium. So I would purchase this again in my club. I am, it's in my bi-monthly, so next month I should get one more bar. And then, I don't know, I might take it out, but... Um, I liked it enough to keep it in there. So it's eucalyptus flower. So it's like not the medicinal eucalyptus. It's eucalyptus flower, some type of mint, maybe a vanilla. I don't know. But um, 
it's like a light, smooth, creamy type of mint scent with that little bit of that um, eucalyptus, the for, eucalyptus flower kind of softens it up. So yeah, swirling snowflakes. That was nice. Um, I don't, I think I must have did this on its own in my office. Give me candy. I'm obsessed with this scent. Ugh, best scent of the month all year that Scentsy had for 2022, in my opinion. And I, I, I use that all the time. You've heard me talk about it, I'm sure. Why do I feel like, did I only have one bar of this? Silver Bells. I thought I... Maybe I only had one bar. I thought I did two bars. See, this is what happens when you don't do a video for so long. You, like, forget where you warm stuff and all that. Love this. It's just such a... It's kind of hard to describe it. The notes are, um, I think, peppermint or candy cane, um, caramel, and pear. But that's... I mean, it doesn't really smell like caramel or pear per se. It's just a really sophisticated minty scent. It's it's great. I have really appreciated this scent um, in ways that I haven't before this season. So I actually got two bars of this um, that I am going to be warming on Christmas Day when we host in our open concept here. So if that tells you anything, um, yeah, in love. I used partial brick of um, maraschino sugar cookie. So when I originally got this, I did a, some in my um, office and it's good. It's bakery. It's not my favorite cherry. I still like apple cherry strudel better, but it is a nice cherry. And this was probably the superstar of the winter brick collection. Um, people go nuts over this scent. Um, but this time when I warmed it for this, this round, I did it in my open concept and I mixed it in the same warmer with sugar cookies. In fact, there is that. That's kind of why I bought this brick. I brought this because there was a couple things I wanted to mix it with. And so I mixed it with this and it was nice. It toned down the cherry just a little bit brought out that sugar cookie note that's already in there and it made it even better. So if you have this and you think it's a little bit too cherry forward, try mixing it with sugar cookie. Um, I mean, you could do vanilla bean buttercream too, but I thought this was a good mixture since this already has sugar cookie in it. You're not really changing the sense. You're just bringing one out more. So um, I'll probably do that for most of the rest of this. Um, I like this, but I do like it better mixed with the sugar cookie. I think you can still get the the bricks. I know that one was out of stock, but I think it went back in stock. I don't know. Um, and then, yeah, I got this in my Scentsy Club. So if you have Scentsy Club, you can get some of the best-selling um, scents in brick form in there. And they have these different looking logos, which I think these are changing again. But I'll talk more about this in a second because I did mix it with something else. So speaking of bricks, I really worked hard on my bricks. And I was able to use up the rest of my Jade and Jasmine. So um, happy to get through brick. I think I have one more bar of this. I really like this scent. Um, it was a scent of the month, January... 2021, the month that I joined. Um, and I didn't get the kit at that time, but I did pick this up in clearance. And I recently had this going out here in my open concept. It did great. My husband likes this. Um, he said it smells like Irish spring bar soap. Um, I don't get that, and I'm, I'm glad I don't get that, but he likes it because of that. But it is. It's like a masculine, fresh scent. So that was really nice. And this is a good performer. If this um, showed up again in clearance, I would repurchase it. Or we can put it in the empties box there to be recycled. Um, so this was fun to try. This was Cranberry Muffin. You can see from the packaging that this is super old. And it was a Bring Back My Bar. So who knows when this was originally available. But um, 
this is coming back in the next bring back my bar. So this was, it was nice, but um, I'm glad to experience it, but I, I'm not going to get any more. Well, I'll get one more in the kit. Um, probably, but I would be fine not warming it again. It just, it was nice, but it didn't stick out to me as anything too special. So, um, that was cranberry muffin. I got this in a D stash, uh, a while ago. So, um, you can tell it's got the old packaging there, but that was fun to try. Um, we have chamomile daisy here. And uh, I used three cubes in my garage because I don't really like this scent. And Maddie commented that the garage stunk. It did a really, it did perform really good in there. Um, but yeah, we're just not crazy about it. It's, uh, I thought I would really like it. It was from the Life's a Garden collection, which was a couple springs ago. See, I get like a weird, a weird lemon note. And the cover does have lemons and daisies. Obviously, it's supposed to have chamomile. I don't know. I just wasn't really a big fan. So that went in my um, in my garage. Lavender and white balsam. I love this scent. This was in the Bring Back My Bar December 2020, I want to say. And um, it's got an air bubble there in the packaging. It's in my club. I love this scent. It is more of a little, a bit of a winter scent, but I will warm it year round in my bedroom and bathroom. Oh, just the lavender in here is beautiful. I'm usually not a big tree scent fan, but the way that the, the white balsam, it's a white balsam, so I think it's a little bit softer. And the way it blends with the lavender, oh, so good. One of my favorite lavender scents. Really, really love that one. If that comes back again, you need to try it if you haven't. Um, I did use some of the, maybe we'll save those, the football ones. I'll try and talk about them all at once. Um, apple cherry strudel. This was uh, in, my in my office. I did this, did a whole bar, and I actually got two days out of it. I like to use this bar when... I only really want to warm something for a day. Like maybe I'm waiting on an order to come in or it's a Friday in my office and, um, you know, I'm no, I'm not, I'm going to be out of there the next couple days. I like to use this for like a one day or it, it is nice to have some one dayers on hand for stuff like that. And this one lasted about a solid two days, which I was surprised. Oh, I love it. Let me smell this one next to the maraschino cherry sure, maraschino sugar cookie. get more of like an almond extract type note almost in maraschino sugar cookie where this one smells to me just like the cherry pie filling in the can <laughs> you know the stuff that's like really not good for you Ugh, so good so 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 good love it this is gonna go in my club um I took a gamble last spring summer but I'm not, I'm not gonna take that gamble again so this will go in my club if it retires which I think it will at the end of the season Uh, another one I did in my office that lasted forever was Ocean. Um, I love this scent. I have decided that this is my favorite fresh scent. If I could only pick one scent from the fresh category, um, it's this is it. Uh, because it is so nice and fresh and clean and it's so long lasting. This went for a week and a half in my office until I finally took it out. I probably could have got one more, one or two more days out of it, but I was just like, I, you know, I like, I like to switch out my wax and, and this just kept going. But the, the clean smell in here is so good. So unique. It's not like one of the weird aquatic notes that Sensi sometimes has. This is just everything. And this is, like I said, this is my favorite in laundry too, but um, I highly, highly recommend this if it ever comes out again. Um, it's, it's wonderful. Perfect pumpkin pear. I think I had a few cubes left of this that I used up in my garage. Ugh, yeah, no, not, not a fan. Um, 
get a lot of spice in there, but uh, I, that's just not my jam. Ah, Cutie Pie Cupcake. So I uh, last month got the warmer promotion bundle with um, Polar Panorama and then the bakery bundle where I got four free bakery bars and Cutie Pie Cupcake was one of them. This was really nice for a day and then it, it was died. It was one and done, but it was a good performer. It uh, lingered out of my office I had it in and it was great for a day. Um, I don't, it's not club worthy or anything for me, but I did enjoy it for that one day. And I would probably purchase it again, maybe another bar if it came back, which it probably will. It tends to come back fairly frequently. Um, NHL Fresh Ice. So I love this scent and I gave it to my mom a long time ago and she didn't use it. So she gave it back to me recently. So good. Oh, it's just so fresh. It's like mint, and I think there's a cedarwood note in here. It's a little, leans a little bit masculine, but not like cologne. Oh my gosh, it's so good. This scent always reminds me of Laura Whitfield because I know she really likes it too, and I, I get it. This is really, really good. I debated clubbing it, but it seems like it comes back fairly often, which is, which is why I didn't. Also in that bakery bundle was... Um, Huckleberry apple pie. Um, this was the one I was most excited to try out, but um, it was it was okay. I got more apple pie than anything, um, and I was hoping for more huckleberry. So, pretty much apple pie with a little extra sweetness, maybe a little less spice. Um, again, I liked it. I enjoyed it. It was fun trying it, but I. Didn't fall in love with it, which is good, I guess, since since there's no way to get it again and you can't add those to club. Um, Olaf Warm Hugs. So I had, what, two or three cubes of this in my daughter's bedroom. I think this might currently be available because they re-released the frozen bars. Um, but this is just too light for me. It's nice, but it's a very light mint. So yeah, this is good for children's rooms, small areas, bathrooms. Even in my bathroom, I like something a little bit stronger than this, but um, it's nice. I wouldn't purchase it again because it is too light. But if you are maybe a little averse to mint scents or you just like soft scents, you know, this might be a good one to try. Also another mint that I love, 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 and I think Laura loves too, is vanilla mint. Um... I love this. It was in my club and I took it out and I'm I'm sad that I did because it didn't come back. But it is available in cleaning. So I've been using that in all-purpose cleaner this season and it's great. Oh, so good. So this is like vanilla mint. It's like, you know, it's mint, but it has the vanilla that just creams it out. I think it has, is this one that, I think this is one that has frozen citrus in it. So good. You can tell this is an older package too. Mm, I think I have this partial bar and then one more bar. So I'm saving them, but I, I need to just use it. You can see it's getting a little greasy. Oh, I love it. So good. That was a great one in pods too. Great performer in pods when they had that. Um, so I used a couple cubes of an old bar from the Aladdin collection, A Whole New World. Uh, this was a really fun collection. It came out before I was a consultant. But it had, I think, five bars, and they were each named after a song in, in the movie. And really cool packaging. Um, it came in a, a really fun box, and then it's got the silver on the back here. But they've always been light scents, but I think it's starting to just smell like wax. Or even kind of like Play-Doh. I think I have let this sit too long. Oh, it actually has a pour date that you can see. 2019. I see the year 2019. So pre-pandemic. <laughs> um, I just need to use this up. It's that's one thing you do risk if you let your wax sit too long, you know. Um you, you should just enjoy it and not hoard it like I did with this set because now this barely has any scent left in it. Uh, okay. 
Um, in my garage, I did Red Candy Apple. This was also in my uh, D stash I got. I think this one is coming back in the next Bring Back My Bar, I think. Um, I did it in my garage because on cold, it smelled like, uh, yeah, and it still does on cold, like cough syrup. Yeah, really bad, like cough syrup. When I warmed it in my garage, I did not get that. I had three cubes in my Yoda Element Warmer, Baby Yoda, and it did really good. And it just smelled like a fruity scent in there, like kind of just an indistinct fruity scent that you can't really like specify. So it was nice in there and um, it wasn't offensive. I didn't get that medicinal note that I get on cold. Um, so I think that this is, I think someone had commented one time that this was, a current or it's a catalog item in in region three australia new zealand i don't know if that's still true i personally wouldn't purchase it if it came back because there's other apple scents i like better like johnny Appleseed, for instance but um this was one that i was pleasantly surprised how much better it was once i did go ahead and warm it bring back my bar in cashmere pear. So this was in the same bring back my bar that had the um, lavender and white balsam. There was some really good bars in that uh, lineup. And this is so good. This is my favorite pear scent. Probably. Just it's, it's a bedroom scent. It's like a relaxing, sophisticated, cashmere scent with a hint of pear which sounds weird like cashmere and pear but it goes together so good highly recommend getting picking that up if it ever comes back oh i i knew i went through two full bars of silver bells out here oh, so good it did really well too my open concept um oh <laughs> i did a few i did uh four cubes of ocean in my laundry room this was earlier in the month but I love it. My dad has recently fallen in love with um, Glacier Ice, which was the uh, August set of the month. So I'm going to give him some of this to try because I think if he likes that Glacier, is it Glacier Ice or Glacial Ice? I don't know, but I think he would like this one. Give me candy again. Ugh. So good. My husband can't stand that because it is super sweet, like almost poignantly sweet, and he can't stand it. So I either do it in my office or I do it or out here when he's traveling. Um, in my bathroom, I did get through a couple sand, um, testers, which I haven't done in a while. Sheer leather. Wait a minute. These all have the lids mixed up. Okay, so I did do a sheer leather, and that didn't have much scent left in it, but it's just a basic leather. And then um, aloe water and cucumber. The color on that one had kind of uh, turned. And it wasn't as strong as a fresh bar, but it did still have that scent there. Um, and then a go, go mango. This was really nice. This actually had quite a bit of scent left. This is a spring-summer scent. It's been out for a few years, so it's fairly popular. I'm guessing it'll come back. Um, I had two bars of inhale, exhale. This was... Another one where it was like, I just wanted to warm something out here in my open concept for one day because I think I was waiting on something to come in. And in my D stash that I had gotten where I got 67 bars, I got a bunch of these, probably like 10 of them. And this, I, I joke that it's like the scent that just, it keeps growing. It's like, I'll use, I'll use it. And then I'll go back and look at my stash. And I still, it's like, I still have just as many bars. It's, it's weird, but, um, I did go ahead and use this up. This was a scent of the month in, I think January of 2020, maybe it was when we, the Himalayan salt lamps were the salt warmers were the white and the pink one were the warmers of the month. Um, it's nice, but a lot of people don't like it. And actually, I'm just getting sick of it. So now I'm like, it's okay. Um, it's got a lemon, a melon note in here. It's like salty. I don't know. There's a salt note and there's a melon note. And it is a different combination and a lot of people are turned off by it. It does remind me a little bit of the blue from Chase Rainbows. 
Um, in fact, I've mixed this with blue. But if this came out again, I wouldn't purchase it just because I'm so sick of it at this point. Um, Snow White Kind Heart. This surprised me. Look at the, look. it's just beautiful. I love the packaging and I love the periwinkle color. Um, this is in my club, my bi-monthly club. I don't know if it's going to stay in there. I want to warm it again. It surprised me how much it came out on warm. Mm. So it's a floral. It is a floral. But it has an apple note in it. And when I warmed the three cubes in my daughter's room, the apple note really came out. And I don't get much of it here at all. But it was really, really nice. So... Yeah, I probably want to get at least one more bar in my next club. It was really nice. Um, like I said, it surprised me. And I think Patricia Gates had a similar experience, um, maybe a little bit more so than mine, where she really enjoyed it once it was warmed a lot more than she expected to. So, you know, you never know till you warm it. That's what I always say. You never know till you warm it. This has a rubber band around it to help me remember <laughs> that I mixed it. Uh, so the vanilla bean buttercream, this is a packaging that came in the vanilla bean buttercream collection, which as you know, since he has not been able to keep up with stocking that up, it's been a very popular collection. But uh, one of the scents in there was peppermint buttercream and it was, or candy cane buttercream. It was candy cane peppermint mixed with vanilla bean buttercream. So I didn't, um, I couldn't order that. It sold out. So the closest thing I had to like a candy cane, uh, whatever on its own is perfect peppermint. So I mixed uh, in Maddie's room. We mixed. Well, no, no. First, I think I did it in my office and I did one cube to one cube. And it was still the peppermint was taking over the candy cane and I wanted it or the vanilla bean. I wanted it smoothed out more. And so then I would do, then I did two cubes of um, vanilla bean buttercream <laughs> to one cube of uh, the perfect peppermint. And that was a good combination. So then Maddie did that in her room too. And it was really nice. Um, so I must have had a different vanilla bean buttercream that I used. This is a nice scent on its own, but it's a really nice mixer this time of year as well. And you can get that in the catalog year-round, vanilla bean buttercream, or in a brick in club. Okay, um, I used some, um, have I tried all of them now? The, I think I may have, the um, European Football League, or Soccer League. Um, they had four bars come out so far of different teams. And I have tried them all, and I can report back to you now. Um... There might be some other ones in here. This one I thought would be my favorite and I got two bars of it, but it wasn't. I'm trying to remember there's a white one that ended up being my favorite. This one's all right. It's a masculine. Um, all of them are masculine. But I think this one has um, lavender and maybe vetiver in it. It was nice. Uh, these I have found a really good zone that I like to warm them in is my laundry room. Um, it's nice and fresh when you walk in, fresh, strong, and you're in there, but you don't spend a lot of time in there, and so you're not having to smell the masculine scents all day, but it's nice when you go in there and, and do. I'm a little bit burnt out on masculine scents. Uh, Chelsea. This is probably my, well, maybe this is my favorite. I don't know. This was a really good performer. It did really well in my bath, uh, my, um, laundry room, and look at the color. I love that deep blue. Um, this was like... Kind of like a fresh aquatic scent. Um, so that was actually a lot better than I thought it would be that one was. Maui Mist. I love Maui Mist. You guys know this is my ride or die favorite bar. If I could only have one bar for the rest of my life, it would be Maui Mist. Um, so luckily it was in club or bring back my bar um, the beginning of the year. So I put it in my club. So now I don't have to hoard them anymore. But I did this in my bedroom. I think it was when I was feeling sick, my ear infection and stuff. Um, I got really sick. Uh, it was a whole thing where 
I was misdiagnosed and made it a lot worse and all that. And, and Maddie had a horrible ear infection and we were just all just like, ugh. so this just always puts me in a, a good mood, a good calm mood. So that was in my bedroom and that is lovely. It's kind of a floral tropical. It's hard to describe, but it's everything. Scarlet Woods. This was also in that D stash. Apparently it was a scent of the month at some point in time a few years ago. It was getting a little goopy. I didn't really like this. Um, it actually reminded me a lot of Jewel Pomegranate. Um, so it must share some similar scent notes, but maybe a little bit more of like a tr like a Christmas tree note added in there. A pine note. I don't know. Um, but this, I remember the scent note sounded really good, but I it ended up not being. And actually there's Christmas trees on here. I almost feel like this might be in the um, Bring Back My Bar that's coming out next, soon here too. I don't know. Strawberry Champagne Truffle. This was also in that D stash and you can see that it's getting old. This was a scent of the month. Was it like a February or so? A few a couple years ago. Um, Not my favorite scent. Uh, it was in the catalog for a little bit. It's all right, but I'm not a big fan. I did use it up in the bathroom a couple cubes on its own, and then I mixed it with Keep It Sassy, I think is what I mixed it with. So, I don't know. It was all right. <laughs> have these tied together here. Oh, this was interesting. This was a while ago. Um, I did Cedar Cider in Halloween Town. And... Um, Cedar cider, I mean, it says it has like cinnamon and apple, but I just get cedar, like a cedar closet. I don't get cinnamon, which I'm very picky about cinnamon. I just get nice, fresh cedar. And then Halloween Town does have cedar in it, as well as like some dark berries and plum, I think, maybe. It's just kind of a fall brew type scent. Mm. So um, I mixed these together, and it'd been a while since I'd done this, so I kind of forgot. I think I should have done two cubes Halloween Town to one cube of Cedar Cider, but I did one-to-one -one in the same warmer. And the first day, all I smelled was Cedar Cider, and I was like, oh, great. I overdid it. But after that, after day one, then I mostly got the scent notes from Halloween Town, and the, the cedar kind of died off. Even though I think cedar is usually more of a base note. But any anywho, um, this shined more from day two on out. And then it was like a really nice combination. But I still think if I did it again, I would probably do two cubes Halloween Town to one cube um, cedar cider. But uh, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to put this in my club. Um, I know it's been around a long time. I'll probably just stock up on it a little bit at the end of this season. But Halloween Town's been in my club and it's staying in my club. Oh, here's that perfect peppermint. Oh, I think I just tested it in one warmer in my office. And then Maddie did two cubes in her room. Yeah, so this is just a pepper, basic strong peppermint. This isn't really like bakery at all. It's more like uh, clear out your nostrils type, <laughs> but um, it's nice. And Maddie really enjoyed it. So I do like mint more than I have in the past and I've been warming it more this season. Oh, this is the one that was my favorite of the football LFC, which I think is maybe Liverpool football club, official licensed product. Um, this is the one that I probably out of any of them, if I was going to repurchase, it would be this one. Hmm. And this is softer. This is more of a bedroom scent. I did this whole bar in my bedroom and I got pretty good performance and it wasn't too sharp, wasn't too masculine. I don't remember the scent notes, but I actually, I actually did like that one. Um, here comes the sunflowers. I've actually never worn this in wax. I've had it in a, I think I had it in a scent circle once, but um, I warmed it in the tester. Granted, the tester was a little bit older, but um, I came to the conclusion that I still like, uh, what is that one that's in my club? Is it Perfect Petals? No, it's not Perfect Petals. I can't think of it right now, but um, I like it more than this. So uh, this is a popular set, and I think it will be back next year. 
Okay, I got some more bricks here. <laughs> I um, used up this big old mess of a brick. This has been messy since I inherited it from someone. Um, dual pomegranate. So, I smell that next to that Scarlet Woods one. Yeah, they're similar. This one's more fruity. Scarlet Woods definitely has like a tree note to it. Um, but Jewel Pomegranate, I actually have found that I'm not the biggest fan of it. And I do have one brick left, that one cube that I had in here. And I think I'm just going to give it to my friend that really likes this scent. Or my sister-in-law. Um, but I had this um, and I had been warming it at Thanksgiving well, the last, was it last three years? This year and last two years? Or was it just last year? I think it was two years ago that I was in the hospital because it was when COVID was happening. So like no one could come visit me, but I, I got really sick with, um, I was diagnosed with an autoimmune situation, but got really sick and I was in the hospital for like a week and I finally got released on um, Thanksgiving day. And I hadn't seen my family or my kids or anything. Yeah, this, yeah, my youngest was a baby. Um, and I came home and had Thanksgiving with all my family here and my parents and everything. And we had dual pomegranate warming. And so this scent has always had kind of a sentimental value to me because it just reminds me of that happy time of coming home to my family. But I also realized that if you actually just like smell it and take away the sentimental value... I really don't love it that much. And so I'm like, well, I can't just hold on to it for because of the, the memory, the scent memory, if I really don't like the scent that much. It's not worth it. So um, I'm not, I, like I said, I'll probably just gift the last bot cube um, and I wouldn't repurchase this again. But a lot of people love it and especially in body. I've, I've heard that it's better in body. Holy cow, I have a lot of wax here. I think this is the last brick. I did not finish this, but this is um, Frosted Petals. So I had warmed this a little bit the first time in my office to try it out. And it was a good performer. And so, um, but it is very floral. So what I did this time is I actually mixed this with sugar cookie. So I got sugar cookie specifically kind of to mix with um, the maraschino sugar cookie and also to mix with this. Um, this is my first time trying this hack, but I've heard before that if you want to tone down a floral, Lisa Roberry has talked about this. If you want to tone down a floral, um, mix it with a bakery. And so I did try that in my bedroom. I did it when my husband was out of town because I didn't know how much of the bakery would come out. Um, but it, it, it did tone it down. It smoothed it out. It wasn't as in-your-face floral, but um, definitely this was still the stronger scent note. But, you know, Maddie noticed that it smelled different in there and that she liked it a little bit better and stuff. So that does make a difference. Um, and I did, um, I mixed them like one-to-one. -one. So what I could have probably done is did a little bit more of the bakery and then a little less of the floral. But I like florals, so it was fine. Um, and in fact... I have another brick of this after this, so um, I actually see myself warming this more in the spring, summer, and this time of year, but that's frosted petals. I think that's that's all the bricks. Oh my gosh, we're like an hour in. Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, I have one more item in here that's not a scentsy item. Um, this is some perfume, and it's called Amazing Grace, and I got this. It's by Philosophy. And it says philosophy. In the end, it all comes down to one word, grace. Uh, I love this. I got this for Christmas probably about 10 years ago. Um, and it's so good. It's fresh. It's almost kind of like a baby powder fresh scent. So nice. I always got a lot of compliments when I would wear it to work. But since I don't work in an awe, I don't go into the office every day anymore. I work from home. I really don't use perfume very much. Um, I mostly use the the Scentsy Body uh, fra Fragrance Mist. Why am I like drawing a blank on that? Um, but this was really nice. I would use it again. I don't know that I would 
buy a big bottle because this took me 10 years to get through. But they have different Amazing Grace scents too. And there's another one I really like. But this is the original and it's so nice. Really lo loved that. Enjoyed it. Um, so back to back to Scentsy here. As I mentioned, I had mixed Keep It Sassy with the Strawberry Champagne Truffle. I also did a couple cubes of this on its own in my bathroom. Um, this was from the Glam... I think this was a Glamorous You collection, yeah. It's nice, but it's nothing special to me. So, um, I got through that. Finally used up the rest of this bar of uh, Sleep Happy from the Catching Z's collection. Um, I use this in my girls' room, and it's a nice scent. It reminds me a lot of my grandma, who's in heaven. Um, she... This is the type of scent she would have worn. She was, you know, she liked those clean body type scents. So this just always reminds me of her. It's not in my club or anything, but um, it's it's a pretty good performer in smaller areas. In my bedroom, I did, I think there was two cubes missing out of here. So I did six cubes of coconut cotton. This is in my club. I love it. I've considered taking it out a few times because it's not the strongest scent, but the scent appeal is so great that I just, I haven't taken it out of my club. It's a lighter scent, but it's the coconut mixing with the cotton sounds like it'd be weird, but since he nailed it with that one, such a great combination. Okay, this one, this was a dud for me. This is custard apple. So this was also in that quote, bakery collection. Um, I would call this more of a fruity scent. Yeah. Um, when I first warmed it, start, you know, started melting it, I was like, this is really good. And then it was too much. I did one full bar in my office, which is a small space. And I had to turn a few warmers off partway through. And then I ended up just taking it out because I'm like, life's too short. I have too much good wax to try where I'm not going to sit here and suffer through this smell I don't like. It turned very heavy on the, uh, like an artificial green apple. Ugh, yeah, artificial green apple. Almost kind of medicinal. I was not a fan. I know I now why this was only around for one season. Um, no, no. Just no. Oh, is this the other? Yeah. Here's another um, football club, soccer club. Barca, which I believe is Barcelona uh, football club. This was nice. Uh, this was, of course, a masculine. Again, loving the, the blue here. Almost smells kind of rubbery, though, on cold. Like a, more like a plasticky. But um, I didn't get that on warm. So this was a nice one. I wouldn't repurchase it again because it wasn't really special. But I, I did like that in my laundry room. I'm probably going to use the rest of those up in my laundry room. I wanted to try. I really haven't um, played around with these too much. Because when they came out, they were not really in season for me. But I, I did go ahead and try two cubes of Harry Potter Gryffindor Bravery and Determination in my bathroom. I think this is the one that people said smelled like bacon. It does have like that smoky note. Yeah. It's got that smoky note. I didn't really pick that up as much in my, um, in my bathroom on warm. But I just remember it kind of being unremarkable. Not really anything to write home about. Just kind of, eh. Um... But, yeah, I can see where if you use too much, it might take on that bacon vibe. So this was okay. Um, honestly, n none of the scents in that collection really thrilled me. I think Gryffindor was my favorite, but even that one I didn't get great performance on. Um, oh, so the aloe water and cucumber lid we talked about in the sheer leather um, bottom we already talked about. My only sunshine. Um... This was in, I think, the last Bring Back My Bar last summer. And this is a nice scent. I remember liking it in the past before I was a consultant. So I stocked up on a few bars this last Bring Back My Bar. 
but it's just a little too light for me. Just a little too light. Mm, but it is nice. So I did three cubes in my girls' room, and that did fine, but I would keep this to smaller areas. Um, it's not open concept worthy, at least in my opinion. Uh, what I did do in my open concept, which was awesome, um, in alternating warmers, I did Very Blessed, and we're all mad here. The girls uh, were watching Alice in Wonderland one day, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I was going to change out my wax. I'm like, this is a perfect time to put in We're All Mad here. And they had a lot of fun with that, you know, and they're like, oh, like pointing out that they're in the movie and stuff, and they have the Cheshire Cat Buddy, so they, they just thought it was fun. Okay, this is one of my favorite scents. This is in my club. This is um, like a really fruity uh, plum. It has a fizz note to it. I love that about it, the bubbly note. Oh, so good. This, um, very similar to Monsters, Inc., Monstropolis, but stronger, a little bit stronger. So I took Monstropolis out of my club and replaced it with this when this came back out. Very good. And it complemented Berry Blessed really well. Berry Blessed is kind of along the same lines. It's fruity. It does have um, cranberry in it. Uh, but I don't get a lot of cranberry. I mostly just get like the, you know, like juicy sweet berries. But there's no fizz to it. But these two in alternating warmers uh, complemented each other great. I'm not sure if Alice in Wonderland is still available. But Berry Blessed is... Um, it's been in the catalog. I think this is a second season. It was originally an LTO. Really like that scent, especially in um, pods. It's, it's really good. Um, I used three cubes on their own of Vanilla Waves. I wanted something light in my girls' room when they weren't feeling good. This is a light scent. One of them said they didn't like it. I think it was Maya, which is surprising because she loves bakery. But maybe it's because this kind of has like, it's like a fresh bakery with that salty sea air. Um, I do like it better in wax than in, um, body, as I said. I really like it in wax. I wish it was a little bit stronger, but it is in my, um, club in case it doesn't come back next season. I think it will, but, um, I think they're going to rotate this in sugar. I think they're going to take sugar back out, put this back in. Um, anywho, it's a good mixer too. And in the summer when you're wanting a little bit of bakery or a little bit of a bakery mixture, it's not as heavy as like vanilla bean buttercream or even sugar cookie. So it's a little bit more of like an airy note to it. So vanilla waves. I would not do that on its own in open concept though. Um, oh, <laughs> so like I said, I was using some of the Harry Potter um, and this one, Justin Loyal, I ended up, um, did I mix it? No, I think I put in alternating warmers with Shocker, Gimme Candy. Um, Justin Loyal, there's a note in here. I think there's honey in here. I don't know the scent notes, but I definitely get like a honey smell. And actually, maybe this one, maybe this was my favorite on warm. It was actually pretty nice, but the that type of honey note really complimented gimme candy which i also think has honey in it i think and surprisingly you could still smell it it was a pretty good performer because gimme candy is like blow you out of your house strong but they actually played well together so um this is still available if you're looking for something to mix or maybe like blend this out a little bit more that was a good combination we're getting down there. <laughs> You're still there. Uh, random bulb. I think this is a clear one. Oh, it's not even in there. Maybe I threw the old one away and, and um, put it in a clear bulb. It's a different pile that goes in. Um, so my favorite out of the vanilla bean buttercream collection is definitely the gingerbread buttercream. Um, the other ones, like the, there was the candy cane. I feel like you could recreate that. Caramel, I feel like you could recreate that or, you know, use something similar. But gingerbread, we just don't get a lot of gingerbread scents, like hardly ever. And so this one is unique and it's really good. Actually, is this the bar? This must be the bar I have going in my office right now after I took out, um, Ocean finally. So good. My husband doesn't like it, so... I do want to warm it up here during the holiday season, 
but I guess we only have like a week left till Christmas. So oh, I really love it. I love the gingerbread note in here. And this is going to stay in my club for a while because like I said, it is to me more of a unique scent. So a uh, pretty good performer too. I think if I did two bars up here, it would be good. Or even like one bar and like one bar, maybe like some of that sugar cookie alternating. Um, it was a pretty good performer. So a lot of those in that collection were on the lighter side. Also another scent I like to do when I'm not feeling well in my bedroom is Sunburst Bamboo. Um, I remember doing this when we all came down with COVID last year or beginning of this year. It was the scent of the month, I think in February. And um, so I guess maybe it, I kind of associate it with like, you know, a relaxing scent in your room when you're not feeling good, but. I really like this. This is my second favorite scent of the month behind Gimme Candy for this year. I hope it comes back um, in the catalog. I don't know. I feel like it wasn't super popular, so I don't know that it will. It was in my club for a while, but I stocked up on it. I think it went into clearance or a flash sale or something, and so I probably have maybe four bars left. But um, very pretty. I really like this. It kind of reminds me of Scentsy's Fresh Cut Grass, but better. Ambrosia. I was glad to get rid of this. Um, this was in the, I think it was in the last Bring Back My Bar. Maybe the one before. And at first it smells like fruity, really fruity, like a fruit punch or ambrosia fruit salad. But then after you warm it for a while, it takes on a soapy note, which is just weird to me. It's like, I got this because I wanted fruit, not soap. Um, so I did it in my bathroom and it took on the soap note pretty quick, but it was like, it's fine. It's in my bathroom. And I was just trying to get through it. I would not purchase that again. Um, okay, this was interesting. In my bedroom, I did in the same warmers, uh, one cube to one cube of Silver Bells and Velvet Moon. Um, this was suggested by Melt at Michelle. Uh, she did a series where she tried out all of the new catalog scents and like every week would mix them with different things. And she had mixed uh, Velvet Moon and Silver Bells. And I was like, that sounds really good. I should do that. And so I did. And it really like threw off the Silver Bell in that environment. Um, I don't know. I have carpet in my bedroom and most of the time when I warm silver bells, it's in my open concept or my, my um, office, which is either tile or wood floor. So I don't know if, if it was just the silver bell that was the issue or it was mixing with velvet moon. So I really want to experiment with this again because the silver bell just got drowned out, which to me, when I smell these on cold, silver bell is stronger than velvet moon, uh, but it just drowned it out and it didn't last very long where usually Silver Bells is strong and long. So I don't know if it was the mixture or the environment or a combination. Um, so I wanna play around with it some more because I do think that like, like if you just smell them next to each other on cold, it does smell like a beautiful mixture. So I'm not ready to give up on this yet. I just need to play around a little bit more and um, you know, there's different uh, factors in that equation that I can mix up but um, yeah that was a little bit of a disappointment but like I said I'm not I'm not giving up on it yet velvet moon's nice I gotta decide if I'm gonna put that in my club um, we are getting down there I promise <laughs> currently in my open concept out here I have going in alternating warmers huckleberry wreath which was in that D stash that I got, and Huckleberry and Clementine. Huckleberry Wreath, um, I think there was only six cubes in here. Yeah, there was. It's Huckleberry, but you definitely get the wreath note, the pine note. So because of that, I wanted to bring up more of the Huckleberry, and so I did Huckleberry and Clementine in the other warmers, which I do like better. Um, so far, so good. It's, it's um, still, getting going, but I can tell that I think this is going to be a pretty strong um, throw with these two. Uh, Huckleberry and Clementine is a good performer. This is in my bi-monthly club, 
And I've really been trying to decide this season what I want to keep at the end of the season. If it's going to be this or Huckleberry Hideaway. And Huckleberry Hideaway, I think, is going to lose. I really, really want to love that scent more than I do. Um, at first it was my favorite of the new, new uh, scents this year, but... I don't know. I just think that there's a little bit too much going on with it. Like, I love the idea of having Violet and Huckleberry and like a Woods note and all that mixed together. But I don't know. I think it's just a little too much where I like that the Huckleberry and Clementine has that more basic Huckleberry note. But it also has that nice, I, I like the earthy note in it of the, it has strawberry vine. A lot of people don't like that. People have said it smells like marijuana. I don't get that at all, but I just get like, I don't know. I, I love this scent. So yeah, I think this one will win and it's, it's playing really well with Huckleberry Wreath. Huckleberry Wreath on its own, I think would be a little bit too tree forward. Um, currently in my bathroom, I have two cubes of Zeppelin. Uh, the funny story with this. Okay, so... Um, I was bringing up silver bells from my wax stash, and I have my wax um, on my shelves sorted by color. But that works great for me because, I don't know, I just remember what color stuff is with Scentsy, and, and I know where to find it on the shelf. Well, this is a fairly unique color. We don't see a lot of this color label or, or wax. So I went and grabbed it thinking it was silver bells. And I brought it upstairs and I was going to put it in. I opened up to smell it and I thought, what is wrong with this silver bells? Has it gone bad? Has it, has it turned or something? This is not right. I was like thoroughly confused for a second. And then I looked at the label and I'm like, oh, well, that's because it's not silver bells. It's Zeppelin. <laughs> that, that would be why. So that was kind of funny. But um, then I already had this up here. My husband's like, oh, that actually smells good, which he usually never says that. So I think it's because it's kind of a masculine scent. It's okay. This was, it might have been um, club exclusive in the Bring Back My Bar, but it was Bring Back My Bar, I think last January. And yeah, it is like a masculine type scent. It's not super strong, but I don't know. It's okay to me, Um, but I'm... It's not silver bells. <laughs> a couple more here. Plum and White Woods. I have this going in my bedroom right now. Um, this is a really pretty, like a plum body type scent. Um, this is in my club. It's in the same uh, Bring Back My Bar as Cashmere Pear. That was a, like I said, that was a really good uh, Bring Back My Bar. But I will say I got one of these in that D stash that I got of like bars that have been sitting in the storage unit for a while and it was an old bar and it had kind of turned and there was just a weird note that came out in it when I warmed it and so since that happened I've been a little bit averse to trying this I'm like I don't know I was just kind of thrown off by that but in these freshly poured bars from my club somewhat freshly poured I don't get that so you know, that's another example of keeping your wax in a con temperature controlled environment where it can breathe and also not waiting too long to use it because it could go it most of the time they don't go bad, but the, the properties in it can change over time. So um, that one took a turn for the worse. But um, getting this in my club basically three times a year because I skip one um, is perfect. And. I, this is smells correct as it's warming, how it's supposed to smell. Very nice. Okay, we only have two more bars, and they are bars that I mixed together. This is a good combination. I did this on my birthday, and then I, I did it again um, recently. Cran Apple Crumble and Graham Cracker Crunch. So good. So Cran Apple Crumble, actually this might be my favorite of the new releases this season, I think. So good. It's like Mm. It reminds me of caramel apple craze, but less butter. But it has like apple or cran apples. I don't, I don't know apple. I guess and um, brown sugar. I think it, a dollop of whipped cream. So it's a bakery. Doesn't have any spice. Really love that one. 
And then Graham Cracker Crunch is just a great bakery mixer for anything. So that kind of made it more of like a crumble, like a crusty note to it, but in the best possible way. This is um, peanut butter. This has peanut butter in it. Graham Cracker Crunch with like a peanut butter note. Mm, so good. Um, these may both go in my club. I know that Graham Cracker Crunch has been pretty popular, so if it goes away, it'll probably come back. Um, this is its second season, second fall winter season being here. Cran Apple Crumble. I feel like um, this isn't as popular as I would think it would be. Um, a lot of people aren't crazy about it, but but I do like it. So this may go in my club. Um, so now that we are almost an hour and a half into this video, um, if you're still watching, <laughs> thank you so much. Um, I will try to be better about posting my empties videos. It's nice. I like getting feedback on, on different products and, and hearing, you know, honest reviews. So I try to give that out as well. And if I wait too long, it's, it's hard to remember my experience with some of these. So I will try to be better about that in the future. Um, I do have my big quarterly club, which, um, just processed two days ago. So I'll be unboxing that when I get it. And then I am going to get the early access, bring back my bar kit on Monday. Um, it's coming out on the 19th for consultants. I would have liked to see it come out earlier because I feel like that's not enough time to really sample it out or have parties or anything before the holidays. But the reason since he did that is so that they could guarantee, um, shipping on items up through, I think the 15th yesterday, maybe it was the 14th. Um, so I understand that. I mean, they, they got to make sure that they can accommodate people for their Christmas shopping. Um, I am still going to get the kit early though. And, um, I will be here sharing it with you guys. I'm really excited. We have a, a pretty good lineup coming up. So thank you guys so much for sticking around. Um, I appreciate all of you and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.